Welcome to another demo from FibGages.com. Today we are looking at the HSI gauge. It's a multifunction gauge used in a multitude of different aircraft. Now let's start off by showing you the functions using the keys down on the left hand side. On this gauge, because we use both the left and right hand dials for functions, right dial being we're changing the header bug, as you can see the red header bug is moving, and here we are actually changing the CRS pointer position using the left gauge. This means that we can't turn on our normal gauge mini functions because uh, we're using both the dials. So as you can see on this gauge, the blue LED is at the top left hand side here, which indicates that this button is the control activator for the mini. So if we press S1, that will bring up our gauge menu. Press S1 again and the gauge menu turns off. Okay, now S2, S3, S4 and S5 have no function and S6 is pre-programmed to operate the ATSC, turns the ATSC window on and off. You can program that to do whatever you like in reality. The little green LED here uh, comes on when you have a lock on the ILS. So once the ILS signal has been uh, discovered, then the ILS indicator light will come on. Um, a lot of these gauge functions will change as and when the ILS uh, engages, the little bars at the side will move aside. Um, also, you will then see your glide slope indicators appear underneath here. So you have glide slopes uh, indicating. And also, the, once the ILS locks, you'll also see the middle bar here also showing you your ILS indications as well. Um, okay, now let's get into the menu uh, to activate nearest function to the blue LED top menu we have the standard instruction menu which we can toggle on and off and that shows us what the many functions do within this gauge turn that off the next option is like most of my gauges we have a side button option we can switch those side buttons on and off these labels can be programmed within spad.next and the buttons can also be configured to do whatever you like in spad.next too i would not recommend reprogramming in s1 on this gauge mainly because it's the only way you can access the menu of this gauge. But feel free to reprogram and relabel S2 to S6. You, you can do one if you want to, but just bear in mind that um, you won't actually be able to get into the, the gauge to set the side buttons on and off. So uh, once, the, once you've done that, um, there's no way back. Um, okay, and the last but not least option is an autopilot on and off. So basically, if you spin the left dial, that will turn your autopilot on and off. And that will show you your approach and glide slope indicators as well. And that is the HSI gauge. Um, please check back for more demos. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.